Today, I want to talk about housekeeping in Mexico. If you own a home, rent a home, or are thinking you may do one of these in the future, then you could end up with a housekeeper. This is based on our experience and our understanding of Mexican law, so I'll do my best to answer questions regarding things like how do you hire a housekeeper, what do you pay a housekeeper, and what are the laws regarding housekeepers. The law is a bit confusing, but Mexican workers have some rights that are not guaranteed in the United States. For example, housekeepers are entitled to paid vacations. Mexico guarantees all workers five paid vacation days per year. There are two million domestic workers in Mexico, and the law recognizes domestic workers in a simil similar category to payroll employees. Domestic workers also should have a contract with their employer and be registered for Social Security and health care. There really isn't any enforcement of this law, though. I don't want to dissuade anyone from following the law, but this is Mexico. Hiring and firing housekeepers. In order to find a housekeeper, the best route is generally to ask around for recommendations. All of the housekeepers that we've used have been recommended by friends. Our housekeeper now is the sister-in-law of a friend of ours. It's a bit difficult to hire a housekeeper if you only need someone to clean once or twice a week and can be even more problematic if you are particular with those one or two days per week that you need a housekeeper. If you only need someone to clean two days a week, then you will probably uh, find someone that's looking for another full-time job or they will have a second or a third job that could create some scheduling challenges. I don't like saying this out loud because I don't particularly enjoy saying things that can be viewed as categorizing the umbrella of housekeepers, but there are housekeepers that cannot read. It's sad because anytime any government fails their citizens at that level, it's terrible, but also because it opens up a worker to being taken advantage of. We have had housekeepers that cannot read, so be prepared. The training and communication has to be a little more creative, but hopefully it won't discourage someone from giving a potentially good employee an opportunity. When hiring, you can ask for a criminal record report, which would be issued by the local police station. You're also supposed to enter into a contract that spells out the terms of their work, hours and pay, and termination clauses along with the finiquito, or the settlement that they'll receive if they leave. Most people with housekeepers do not have an official contract. Full-time work in Mexico is six days a week, with overtime being anything more than 48 hours in a week. Full-time employees generally work eight hours each day, Monday through Friday, and five hours on Saturday. If you need a housekeeper only to clean your home or condo once or twice a week, you can expect that to take four or five hours each time. When you separate with a housekeeper, you may have to pay a liquidacion, the liquidation. It's like a severance payment. We've done this. Along with the housekeeper, you come together and come up with an agreeable uh, amount to pay. For example, 2,000 pesos. You pay the 2,000 pesos to the now ex-employee and you have them sign a release letter that absolves you of any future uh, legal complaints. This will help protect you in case the housekeeper decides to make a legal claim that you owe them money. If you fire a housekeeper for cause, then you may not have to pay a termination payment. But, you know, chances are your housekeeper was recommended and did a decent job, so you'll want to give them the 
liquidation payment. If you hired a housekeeper or anyone for a contracted period of work, then there wouldn't be a termination agreement or a liquidation. An example may be hiring someone during a one month home remodel project to help with the additional cleanup. You would have uh, a contract for that term and the work is done uh, when the contract is up. No liquidation required. This can be confusing, but for 99% of people, this won't be an issue. I think trying to treat employees well and with dignity goes a long way. Knock on wood, in five years, we've never had a problem with a housekeeper. Okay, paying housekeepers. We prefer to pay by bank transfer. This way we have a receipt of payment. Many people pay in cash, which is probably preferable for the housekeeper. But again, having the proof of payment is nice. And it's, it's really easy to do. We've had to help a housekeeper set up a bank account in order to complete the bank transfer. Uh, Mexico is a cash economy, so a high percentage of workers are paid in cash at the end of the week. And workers are paid weekly. Full-time workers are usually paid Saturday afternoon, but you can work out the payment schedule with your housekeeper. For us, we pay a weekly rate to our housekeeper. We give her a traditional five-day week, and we try to only work her Monday to Friday so she can have the weekends with her family. We expect her average work day to be five to six hours, and we allow her to start when she'd like in the morning within reason and it's usually 9 to 10 a.m. If she has a doctor's appointment or needs to do something with her kids, that's not a problem for us. We only ask her to communicate uh, any schedule changes. All Mexican employees, part-time included, earn a 15-day bonus at Christmas. If you have a once-a-week housekeeper that you pay 400 pesos per week, then you'll owe them 855 pesos in December. You can round up to a thousand. Oh, one suggestion. All the housekeepers we've used have been good and honest, honest workers, uh, but I would recommend letting your housekeeper know that if something's broken or breaks, whether they did it or someone else, to let you know. For example, our housekeeper broke a chair. We don't care about the chair. Uh, we just want to know so we can fix or replace it. I think that domestic workers are sometimes fearful that the employer is going to withhold funds uh, if uh, you know some of their pay if they admit or even point out that something's broken. So I think it's important to have that conversation. Last thing, how much money should you pay a housekeeper? If you have hired a housekeeper in Mexico before, then you know the only question they'll probably have before or when you interview them is, how much does it pay? The second being, when do I start? In our experience, housekeepers do not like telling you how much they would like to be paid. Handyman and construction workers have no problem telling you, I want 700 pesos a day. Hotels may get away paying 250 or 300 pesos per day for a full-time housekeeper, 1,500 or 1,800 pesos. Uh, a week, but if you want a housekeeper one or two days a week for four hours or so each visit, then expect to pay 350 to 400 pesos per cleaning. If you are asking the housekeeper to take a two or three bus trip to get to your casa, then that may cost you 500 pesos or more. Plus there's inflation happening here in Mexico too, so those wages probably should be going up. And don't forget that Christmas bonus. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.